Hi everyone. Um, so wonderful for you to be here with us today. We have a, another special um, Sunday School video for you with our friend Rhonda McKimson. If you remember, she took us on a tour of um, Israel around the areas where Jesus would have taught the Beatitudes. Again, to help that come alive for us and for us to visualize what that would have been like. And today she's going to take us to some of those places that come up in the story of Christmas that you probably just finished hearing a lot about. But you know, for us, Christmas season is still happening. It goes for several more weeks of this celebration of the coming of baby Jesus. So as we continue to learn about Jesus and the sermon he preached, um, here is something else that can help make that come alive for you and make that story of the baby Jesus be more real. Enjoy. Luke chapter 1, verse 26, 27, and 30 and 31. In the sixth month, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. But the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You will be with child and give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus. Here we are traveling through Israel, approaching present day Nazareth. At the time Jesus was born, Nazareth was a town of approximately 500 people. Not that many. This is the Church of Annunciation that has been built over an excavated first century home, possibly very much like Mary's home and most homes at that time. The entrance to the present day services of the church built over Mary's home. There is a bell that announces service for the faithful. It overlooks a courtyard where countries of the world have sent mosaics of their representation of Mary with Jesus. Mm, I bet they're beautiful. This is a picture that I took of one of the mosaics. This one is from Korea. Each of us sees mother and child Jesus in our own image. In another area of the church, there are depicted angel, the angel Gabriel, and this is the depiction that the United States sent announcing the birth of Jesus. I wonder how Mary would have felt seeing something like that in her house. This is the excavation of Mary's house. Where the Gabriel, where the angel Gabriel went. Many homes were built using pre-existing caves as the main walls. Animals were frequently brought inside to protect them. Most houses had a manger for feeding animals behind the family area. This is a deeper view into the home. I wonder where Mary stood when, a when Gabriel said that she was going to have a baby. The Church of the Annunciation has also made a sacred area at another entrance to Mary's house. This is a picture I took of the entrance to the home from inside the church between the iron gates. Luke 2 verses 1 and 4 says, In those days Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken on of the entire Roman world. So Joseph also went up from the town of Galilee 
Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to Judea, to Bethlehem, to the town of David, because he belonged to the house and lineage of David. Present-day fields are seen here while traveling from Nazareth to Bethlehem. Here, the map shows Nazareth in green and Bethlehem in red at a distance of about 90 miles. I have marked the Sea of Galilee because when we studied the Beatitudes, we were near the Sea of Galilee. Mary and Joseph traveled to Bethlehem. This is my daughter and a friend demonstrating how Mary and Joseph might have traveled by donkey. That whole nine. Of course, this is over a flat grassy yard, not the rough terrain between Nazareth and Bethlehem. 90 miles, that's so far on a donkey. Here the fields give way to the hills and drier land. Proceeding south from Nazareth to Bethlehem, the land gets even drier. We are almost to Bethlehem. Almost. I wonder what it'll look like. Today, Bethlehem is in the West Bank, Palestine. It is about six miles south of Jerusalem. We had to go through a barrier put in place by the Israeli government. You can see the military observation tower. I was not allowed to take a picture of this actual gate. These are the homes that provide lodging for the city of Bethlehem's elite and government officials. The plaza outside the Church of the Nativity. Now, the one on the, with all the people, is from 2015 when they were renovating the church. The picture without quite so many people but a lot of cars is from 2018 showing the renovations completed. Luke 2, 6 and 7 says, While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him, wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger. Visitors to the church in nativity must enter the church, which is built over the traditional site of Jesus' birth, through what is called the Eye of the Needle. The church was built this way to keep invaders that were riding horses or camels out. The church is presently shared by Catholic, Greek Orthodox, and Armenian communities. Originally built in 326 AD, it burned and was then again rebuilt. The current building is about 1,500 years old. So old. And here we see some uncovered flooring mosaics. More flooring mosaics. The next several pictures are of mosaics placed in a building when it was first constructed. So they're really old. Wow, look at all the gold in that one. This very old ornate church has been modernized while keeping the historic decor. This mosaic covers almost the entire upper wall. Opposite the first wall. We had to wait about an hour to finally descend to go down to the grotto which is the traditional site of Jesus' birth. Wow. It's a long wait. 
Again, this site is down under the main church. The traditional birth site of Christ is found here. Again, we wait. That's what this season's about. The 14 point star represents the 14 stations of the Via Dolorosa. The Via Dolorosa is believed to be the path Jesus walked on his way to be crucified. Across the small space from the 14 point star is a sacred site of Jesus' birth. As we leave Bethlehem, we go out a different checkpoint. The sur surrounding hills overlook the Elah Valley, possibly where the shepherds were in Luke 2, 8. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night and where David also fought Goliath from 1 Samuel 17, verse 2. Saul and the Israelites assembled and camped in the Valley of Elah and drew up their battle lines to meet the Philistines. Looking south toward the Tel Aish, where the city of Laish once stood before Babylon destroyed it. This would have been the route that Mary, Joseph, and baby Jesus would have used to flee to Egypt to escape Herod. Matthew 2.15 When they, the Magi, had gone, and the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream. Get up, he said, Take the child and his mother and escape to Egypt. Stay there until I tell you, for Herod is going to search for the child to kill him. Our entrance painting again. The three magi depicted saved the church when it was invaded by the Persians because there is a person of Arab descent as one of the wise men. I hope you have enjoyed this visit to the Holy Land around where Jesus was born. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Rhonda, and thank you for that tour. And thank you all for listening and for joining us. And I hope as we continue to talk about this Jesus and the world he lived in, that these tours help it come a little bit more alive for you. Thank you.